Hey everyone and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. Did you know that there are over 300 types of oak? That is crazy and it can get confusing with all of the different names. So today I just wanted to go over a few that are native to the US and I wanted to talk about some of the main differences between them and how uh, their values differ from one another. So anyways, let's get into the video. There are about 90 different types of oak that are native to the U.S., but most of them are classified under red oak or white oak. Here we are uh, looking at a giant pile of red oak, and I think on the other side is the white oak. And we're going to show the difference in the bark because it varies. Um, one type of oak looks drastically different from another type of oak. The leaves look different, everything looks different. So um, it's important to look at the differences and just know it's all oak. But another thing is not only does it vary a lot in looks, but also in value. Red oak is not as valuable as white oak, as I've already stated in multiple videos. And here is what white oak looks like. As you can tell, it looks very different from the red oak that we are just looking at. Anyways, let's go look at some more differences over at the mill. And here is a closer look at the two in comparison to one another. As you can see, rock oak kind of was, has what I would call a thicker bark on it. And then white oak has more of what I'd call like a papery thin bark to it. It's really papery. And it also has that whitish tint to it, which I don't mean, is that why it's called white oak? I don't know, it might be. Anyways, I actually want to show you now com a comparison of the two boards after they've been milled, what they look like, because you might be surprised, but they don't look um, any different from one another. Once they're cut, you, it's really hard to tell which one is the you know, uh, true white oak and which one's the rock oak, because rock oak is classified under white oak. I think I've already said that but it is, and they look very similar once they are cut into actual lumber, even though they look so different on the outside. And here are two boards. One is white oak and one is rock oak. Can you guys tell the difference between the two? They are very, very similar. All right, I'll just tell you, this one's white oak and this one's rock oak. Another one that is classified under white oak is bur oak and it goes by many names such as uh, mossy cup oak, which is my personal favorite, blue oak, and scrub oak. And I think a little bit more, I don't know, that, those are all that I memorized. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this one is more native to like Texas and the Midwest, but it can be found here like around, along like riverbanks and stuff. They do like water um, and well-drained soil and stuff. And these have the potential to uh, even be more bug and rot resistant than the true white oak, which was fascinating to me when I found that out because white oak is special in that sense um, that of its capabilities to resist um, water and all of that it's, it's, uh, some nice wood because of that and not all um, oaks have that for instance red oak nothing classified under red oak has that uh, bug and rot resistant property that the white oak does and bur oak has the potential to be even more powerful um, than the true white oak so that was pretty cool some other oaks that are classified under red oak would be black oak and scarlet oak. And you guys have seen me cut black oak in a previous video. 
I was a little disappointed because it looks different on the outside, but once you cut into it, it looks exactly like any other red oak log I've ever cut. And I would assume that scarlet oak would be similar in that sense, but I don't know, I've never cut it. I'll make sure to point that out to you though in uh, the future if I ever do. Primarily though, we're focusing on white oak because that's what we sell to the flooring company Storybook. And for what they are using it for, it doesn't matter whether it's white oak or rock oak because rock oak is white oak, right? And so when you guys see me um, and I say I have all, all white oak on the deck today, I know I, I, there's always comments like, well, there's rock oak on there too. That's why, because that's um, what we sell to the flooring company and there's definitely a mixture in what we send to them. It just doesn't matter for what they're using it for. So I hope that that answers that question. I wanted to quickly mention to you guys that if you haven't already followed us on Instagram to make sure to do that so you don't miss out on any of the extra content that we put out on there. Anyways, I think that that about covers it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. But other than that, I'll see you back here next time.